The devices were recalled because of issues with the packaging. Specifically, the packaging made the devices more susceptible to failure. Too much air was getting into the packaging, and as a result, the devices will fail at an earlier rate. According to the manufacturer, these devices could have been implanted since 2004 up until 2022. If you have a device that fails, you're going to need something called a revision surgery, which is a painful procedure to remove the defective device and implant a new one. So this litigation focuses on people that have had the devices implanted. One of these recalled devices was implanted right. in their bodies. Right. Sometimes there was even two put in their bodies. This manufacturer purportedly knew that there was issues with this device and didn't say anything to the public. So this litigation is going to be about what did they know and when did they know it and how soon did they say something. And then it's also going to be about, well, what happened to me? Me being the person who had one of these devices implanted. You could have bone loss, you could have something called osteolysis, you could have all these different problems that's going to require you to have one of these painful procedures to have it removed. If you believe that you had one of these recall devices, give us a call and we'll speak to you through it and we'll walk you through the process. Typically, we need to know some basic information. Where did you have the procedure done? When did you have the procedure done? And from there, we could then order your medical records and figure out if you are one of the victims of the exact tech recall. When you contact Parker Wakeman and we retain you as a client, you don't pay us until we get a settlement for you.